Hey, welcome back. This is M-Dog. We're doing our, uh, yeah, experimental duo thing here. I'm really excited about, uh, actually what we're doing on both in Norway and Old Berg. In Norway, um, we've got a really, hopefully what will be a fast bite rate. We're going to start off at the 80 meter hole, then we might try some other stuff too. Really fast bite rate. Um, maybe we'll get lucky on some points. That's the main goal here. Uh, in Norway, but it'll be pretty easy fishing, which will hopefully be nice so that we can get some time in focused on um, the account over here. Uh, Salty McDog, as we've called it. And we're going to start where we ended. And this is more just like for fun. Um, because once it gets to be afternoon, we'll go ahead and get set up. Uh, on a on a bream spot. We're gonna try bream again. So uh, pretty excited about hopefully getting some good bream. And you never know, maybe we'll have a couple of interesting little catches over here before we head to the bream spot. So I think we're gonna go to 4737. We're gonna try that for bream this time. And let's see, we got a little further to go here. So I hope you all are doing well. And I've got the volume turned down on my main account so it wasn't quite so overpowering in terms of volume. And so that I can hear what's happening in the old on, on the old Berg situation a little better. We're still getting some nibbles, no bite. And we are almost to the 80 meter hole. All right, let's talk about what we're using to fish over here. So we're doing the marine pattern oster rig. Because we actually hit 70%, we can now use the attractants on all these. Which, by the way, I was going to try this one. We can keep that on the red. I wish there was like something purplish. Let's try blue with this. And then maybe... Actually, what we should do is just do fire tube and fire stick. So we're doing kind of all red here. So if it doesn't work, we'll, we can try some, we'll change all that stuff up. So pattern oster, um, really just going for hopefully what will be a nice bite rate. All right. Where are we on the map over here? Yeah, this is perfect. This is actually perfect. All right, so clip. Let's put the clip on 40. Real slow retrieve. We're just throwing it right here in front of us. Happy hour, nice. Should help with the possibility. All right, so we have the clip on. So I don't know if you can see it. Um, I'm going to blow this up real quick. But... If that clip disappears, if that clip symbol disappears, then we'll know there's a fish on. If it gets all the way to 40 and it doesn't disappear, then there was no fish on. And then we're just going to reel it in really slow. We don't ever have to hit R to see if there's a fish on or not because the moment we start catching a fish, it'll speed up because we're reeling so slow the normal read for the number normal speed for uh, reeling in a fish is so much um faster than that you'll be able to tell immediately all right this is weird that we actually aren't getting a bite faster than this i tried this last night briefly and i was catching like two to three fish per minute So maybe we'll actually change all that red stuff we put on there. Maybe that's slowing the bite rate down. Because this is weird. Like, what a weird coincidence this would be 
to just randomly not catch a fish either on the drop or the pull up. Like, I don't know that this ever happened a single time last night when I was fishing here. So, I think what I'm going to do is just change this up real quick. All right, let me get this back to normal. And, um, let's bring these fish in. We actually didn't have, we only had one fish on. All right, so what do we want to do here? This this real squid might be slow, but I think it's too early to say that. Let's try blue. Maybe blue is closer. And instead of this, let's go with like the blue bead. Let's just see. Because uh, that was bizarre, if you ask me. All right, so now you see it's on clip 40. If the clip symbol disappears, we've got a fish on. Hey, there's a grass cart, by the way, on uh, Old Bird. So that's the first time we've caught a grass cart on feeder, but thankfully it was very small. Look at that gibble. That is beautiful. Big, beautiful gibble. All right. So let's see it. Let's see it. All right. If this doesn't catch a quick a fish relatively fast, the next thing I'm going to try changing is that top bait we have on there. Because this is the first time I had tried using that. So maybe it's bad luck. Maybe it like scares the fish away. Maybe we just need to try this at a different spot. Maybe the 80 meter hole is no longer good for this. I, I don't know. It's very bizarre to me. I know we have a fish on an old bird, but I actually want to see us not catch a fish twice in a row like this. It is amazing if that happens. Oh, there we go. All right, see how it's the it's sped up so fast? That's how you know there's a fish on. All right, so as soon as we get this fish pulled in, oh, that's a nice blue whiting, by the way. All right, let's see what he what he came in on. So real shrimp 6.5, so it wasn't this. Let's just change this in case it's scary to fish. Let's go pink on this one though. Um, let's go a pink fire tube. There we go, there we go. All right, here we go. Let's see what we have over here. It's like a nice gibble. Yeah, two nice gibbles in a row. Three nice gibbles in a row. Uh oh, fish on. What is going on? So it just sat down there and finally caught a fish, huh? All right, we're going to keep this octopus on a short leash. There's another blue whiting. And that was real shrimp 6.503. Oh, nice tench. Not nice, not, not a marker, but I'm just saying it was a tench. And 500 grams. You know, one thing I have to remember that I don't remember because I think of this as such a low level account still. We actually, stuff like that tench, we can turn that into um, into fish pieces. Ooh. Pretty nice fish. All right, I'm gonna start reeling out, uh, reeling over here too. Is this just a nice common carp here? Yes, it is. 
Take that for sure. Alright, let's see what we get here. If anything. Yeah, it's just much slower today. I'm going to make one more change. And then... Um, and then we'll probably just change spots. Like, this isn't worth it doing this this slow. Because, by the way, we're not making silver, really, on, unless you get, like, a lucky cafe order. We're not really making silver. This is all about bite rate and trying to get uh, upgrades in marine fishing. And this is just too slow. All right, the one thing I do want to try though, before we leave, we're going to switch this to real shrimp 04 and we'll put this on. We'll do, we'll do that. I think we're just gonna end up having to switch spots though. I think we're just gonna have to switch spots. It's not that this isn't working at all, it's just it's not working fast enough. There should be, you know, a pretty pretty frequently we should be catching fish on the drop. All right, let me think about this. Do we just want to try a different spot in the 80? Maybe so. Let's go further south, most, mostly east, a little south. Now kind of straight east. And let's just see. All right, let's try right here. And the wind does not matter at all with this technique, I wouldn't think. You know what? Let's think about this a different way. Let's put a little bigger hook and let's try like pearl barley. Let's just see if we catch better stuff, but maybe don't catch. I mean, common and grass carp could still come mess us up on pearl barley, but let's just give it a try because we'll, we'll switch off this spot to go to that new bream spot soon just to get set up and everything. All right. Speaking of set up at a new spot, let's see how we do here. We need to see a catch on the drop here very soon all right and maybe with this one we go um, size 14 hook and actually let's try egg dough let's get crazy let's just get a little crazy here that should slow down the bite rate. <laughs> mm. All right, so at least we have a pretty fi uh, fast bite here. Couple mackerel in a row. All right, so pearl barley catches a fish. Oh, I was going to try bread, but instead I put on egg dough, right? Which egg dough might just take forever to get a bite. Oh, we have a fish on. So finally, we got one on the drop. Got one on the drop. That's what we want to see. 
We also haven't seen a point in marine fishing yet, though. That's the other thing we want to see. Oh, another nice blue whiting, though. Unfortunately, those are just not worth any silver. All right, that's on the 03, on the 04. So we did catch one on the 04. That's good. Oh, a couple on the 04. Okay, that's, that's encouraging. Already a fish. This is what I'm talking about. This is what you expect on this rig, especially now that we're 70% and can put attractants on there. When I tested it before, it's like you can hardly, uh, hardly throw it in without getting a bite. There we go. Oh, that's a nice mackerel. All right, I'm gonna try turning the volume down on the bell. I guess let me know if that's better. You should still be able to hear it, but just faintly. All right. Look how fast we're getting bites now, either on the drop or it seems like as soon as we start reeling it in. Quick. Once again, quick. All right, so let's think about this. We're using garlic dough for bream. Oh, another nice blue whiting. Garlic dough for bream. We're supposed to be using large one hooks, which we'll do some of. They were using a 13.8 kilo liter. Wow. All right, so we are getting a very fast bite right now. We haven't gotten any lucky skill ups yet, but we are seeing the bite rate come in. Okay, that's pretty cool. Tench still coming in even on the uh, pearl barley. Nothing to say for the um, egg dough so far. Ooh, that was a record weekly blue whiting, 789. This one right here was a record weekly blue whiting. What day is it? It's like Tuesday? Or is today Wednesday? No, today's Tuesday. That's weird. Oh. Hey, grats on uh, level six gangsta fish. All right. Yeah, I feel like we wait for at least one more fish here at Old Berg spot. Still a long way away from bream time. I don't mind getting set up early though. Because it does give us time to go check out like what's going on in the um, cafeteria with orders and stuff. By cafeteria, I mean cafe, of course.
Pearl Barley really working pretty good down here. Egg dough, not so much. Egg dough, quite the opposite. All right, let's see here. So we're switching to Remix. And we want, I kind of want another large one hook, honestly. I kind of want large one hooks on two at this point. So this is going to have a four or an eight. Let's do an eight on this one. Wait, this is the middle one, right? Uh-oh. Fish running away with our line. All right, let's see here. Ooh, nice mackerel. All right, so we're headed to 47.37, which is kind of on the other side, but first we're going to go check out the cafe and stuff. Nice. This is actually, you know, reasonable sized fish here. Maybe a kilo even. Oh yeah. Three and a half kilo safe. We'll take that. All right. So perch order. Ooh, bream order with plenty of time. That's what I'm talking about. Um, Maybe we can get the Crucian. I don't know. It doesn't matter. It's hardly worth anything. Uh, so we made 20 quick silver there. All right. I wanted to kind of look at a couple of things. Kind of want to get the upgraded feeder. And uh, I kind of want to get line that's more appropriate for Bream. So let's see. I don't, I'm going to, we're still going to use this nicer. We might as well use the nicer setup though, right? So trying to keep the fishing going here so that we're not losing time. So let's go. Oh wait, no. The first thing we want to pick out is leader. All right. So Six point four is kind of perfect. I think six point four is kind of perfect. Oh crap! Why would you even? I had it just pressed straight down. Like why would it do that? All right. All right. So we got a six point four. So now we want mono line just above six point four. Seven point five again. Perfect. Wait, what? 7.5, 6.4. I guess the other thing I was thinking about is a nicer leader, a uh, nicer feeder basket, sorry. I don't remember, if you buy an inline, can you only use that if, here, let's just test this out. Can I use this or it have to be in an inline? Has to be in an inline. Okay. Um, so that's why I got the cheap one. 
All right, so what about like one of these? These are nice. Oh, that's right. They're out. Oh, they, they have the 30. That's perfect. They have the 30. That's perfect. Oh, crap. What happened? All right, would we rather get the old masked edition? All right, we're going to get the really nice one. We're going to really splurge here. Sometimes you got to spend money to make money. Although in this case, I think it's probably all psychological on my part. I just enjoy using the nicer stuff sometimes. Ooh, another nice blue whiting. It's too bad those aren't worth any silver, right? Holy cow. All right. I guess one other thing. What size hook do we have on? So do we have... Oh, yeah, that means we have plenty of large hooks, so I don't have an excuse to buy another a nicer hook. All right, 4737, let's go. Clip 15. Uh, let me just see really quick where... Um, all right, it just looks straight out to me. 15 clip, just kind of straight down, straight out. This is the spot we tried, right? And it was like not very good. And then, but some of you all said, hey, I tried that exactly same, exact same spot and pretty much filled my net. So let's see if we can do a little better. All right, we've got the 15 clip, we've got the right, we just don't have the right this, all right. All right, let's go. So we just walk up to it straight out. It's actually a little different than that, isn't it? 4737. Why does it look different to me? It's like it's pointing towards, yeah, there we go. So maybe not exactly straight out. We kind of want like towards that last bush. Yeah, that's what we want. All right, so I guess let me get all these out and then I'll just kind of talk through what I did on the, all right, we're gonna throw right at that last, last bush pretty much every time here. So we've got two large one hooks and one medium eight hook with garlic dough on all three. We hope that during the day we'll catch an occasional roach, but who knows? And all right, so we'll just slowly pull this, pull this up while I'm talking here. Okay, so we are still using the Fortuna feeder F, uh, FD420, really nice feeder rod, but we're also, and we're also still using the Caliber HSV really nice reel but we've downgraded the line strength to 7.5 with a 6.4 liter more appropriate size for bream just trying to make sure that uh if anything the size of the line and leader doesn't have any impact on our bream fishing which i don't know that it necessarily often does but we just want to be sure old bird pretty muddy water Fish probably don't care a whole lot about seeing the line, but let's just be on the safe side. Let's go back out to the front of the boat when we get this in. All right, another blue whiting. Shocker. Maybe once it's overnight, we'll actually skip down to the, skip up to the 55 or over to the 34. Uh, or maybe the, four, I don't know, maybe the 55. We're, we're fishing at 40 meters, so I kind of don't want to fish in a spot that's shallower than that. Not that it wouldn't work, but it's nice to have a little more 
room for it to fall and uh, get a chance for a fish to catch on like it like it did there. All right, looks like first fish of the day might be coming in at Old Berg. 47.37 is where we're supposed to be. We're actually at 36, but close enough. Oh, fish got away. Interesting. Missed it. Yes, got him started. I will check on them at the end of this video. Or maybe I'll go check on them before. We'll see. It won't take me long. All right. Um, did that bite go away or is it just nibbling? I guess it went away. False alarm. So I don't know. We might should have. Oh, there we go. I was going to say we might should have just pulled this up. Oh, yeah. We got the fake, fake, fake bite there. I'm just going to pull it up, I think. I mean, we had a fish get away. We had a fake bite. This has been a bit of a cursed cast here. Oh, there's another fake fish. Hopefully, it's a real one unbelievable now i will say that tends to happen way more often on this marine pattern oster with small sh fake shrimp and all that fgas and just fake bites happen a lot more in my in my opinion than regular rigs or other rigs but what are you gonna do it's still an amazing bite rate and hopefully a chance to get a lucky marine point here there's another one, man. All right, there's one we can turn into fish pieces. Which is always nice. Hey, one thing I was going to try on this is putting on real fi real shrimp on one of them for a minute. And just as we catch fish, we can see how often is a fish actually biting the real shrimp versus these fake ones. And uh, does it change the type of shrimp we catch? So the O3s just seem to be working really well. Let me see this. All right, O3, O4. How far do we go to the next O4? O3, O3. Uh, so there's O4. So it's kind of like about spread out about like you'd expect it. I don't know. We'll change the O4 out though. Um, so let's put a real shrimp on there. And, um, yeah, I don't really know on this. Maybe this. Let's just see what happens. Let's just see what happens here. Now this does make it a lot more expensive. Um, whoa, to fish like this, but if it helps the bite rate or something, that's fine. Or if it gives us a chance to catch a little bit more interesting fish, that would also be fine, but it may not do either one of those. I don't know. All right, I'm gonna go check real quick. I'll be right back.
I guess I forgot that I even put this one in the water. That wasn't very smart. All right, there we go. There's common roach. All right. Real shrimp, real shrimp, real shrimp. So, so none of them so far have actually been caught on real shrimp, if you know what I mean. Hey, this is a decent bream, I think. Yeah, 1.8. Keep those bream coming. Ooh, pollock. I mean, you know, catching pollock like that does give us a little bit more silver, a little bit more XP. I don't think we've had 42.1, 42.2, 42.3. Over there, what are we over here on marine? Blue whiting 71.3. I mean, if we've had a point in either, we haven't had much. Real shrimp, real shrimp, shrimp. So that Pollock was on shrimp. Wow, look how fast that was. Holy moly. That's what you like to see. If nothing else, just for the chance of those uh, leveling points, marine fishing points. Wow. I'm telling you, we are killing it at the moment. Pretty aggressive here on the bream, but you know, I think it's fine. 2.4, that is awesome. Boy, just a couple more of those, and the whole thing's worth it. Love it. Love it. Mm. 
Another Pollock was out on shrimp. Nope, real shrimp, 6.503. Nice little mackerel. That looks like a roach. It's a really nice mackerel. I think it's kind of interesting how often we fail to make fish pieces. Like how often is it to make fish pieces? I mean, how hard is it? Like you've got a fish there and you're trying to just make some fish pieces, but we fail all the time on our leveling account. Really bad with the knife. If you can't make fish into fish pieces. pretty rough I mean like you know it's one thing if it's you're trying to take an oyster and get the meat out and leave the meat intact enough to use it as bait or whatever but you're just trying to make fish pieces out of a, a whole fish like it seems like you've got several opportunities to uh, to figure that out so I don't know I don't know it's weird What is going on here, by the way? Did we just turn its head? Was that just like the magical head turn? It's like everything just went right at the exact same moment there. He was burning line and then it's like he stopped, we turned his head and then boom. 2.2, oh, 42.3%, we got a point. We got a point.
I'm still trying to decide if like it seems like shrimp was a good idea or just like a neutral idea. If ultimately it's not making that much of a difference. Also, this is the first time we've like almost made it to the surface again without having a bite since we moved spots. We have 38 fish in 40 minutes and we also moved around and we're also fishing on another account. I mean, it's a crazy bite rate right now, right? All right, instead of pulling it all the way up, I think I'm just gonna let it drop again. The only downside is like we don't have the clip symbol, but we can kind of watch the speed in which it's dropping. If the speed changes, there's probably a fish on. All right, there's 40 meters, so we want to stop there. I'm casting that big feeder way too far. It's like bouncing way back because of how far I'm casting it. Man, that's a shocker. We caught a blue whiting. Well, we don't know exactly which fish went on it. We could tell if we wanted to, but we're at 52 shrimp and we were at 56 a while ago. So somewhere in the mix, four of the fish we've caught have been on the actual live shrimp. By the way, it's 1 a.m. Let's see how we're doing. I always like to try to measure the bream spot. Six, seven, eight over a kilo. So it's pretty slow. Now, I'm going to be naturally fishing it a little slower than you will because I'm working on two accounts at the moment. But, you know, we're, we're not too far off. We're paying pretty close attention to it. I think, I mean, this has been great for bite rate, everything else. We've just kind of been unlucky on marine fishing. We're at 71.3. If we've had any points, it's only been 0.1. Can't remember exactly if we were at 0.3 already, but the nice thing is it's very low intensity. So it's a nice combination, a nice switch between the two. Although I think I'm about to mix it up a little bit here. We're going to um, do kind of the opposite. We're going to put on, put on big fish pieces, go sit in a real shallow area and just kind of let it float at the bottom. See if we can't catch a lucky shark or something. Might be really slow, but that's okay because we're focused on the other account, right? Speaking of really slow, we have just... Although it's straight up overnight right now. It's probably, oh, there we go. It's probably overall a little slower overnight for these little like blue whitings and stuff. All right, so let's set this up correct first. So, Like we still can't, yeah, we don't have the second. Oh, what's a double hook?
Yo, what's a double hook? Do we want to try that? Like, what is this? What does this say it's for? Bottom rig with a rattling special sinker, additional noise, and tracks the wolf fish. Okay. So maybe we go to the 41 meter hole. All right, hold on. This will definitely like cut down on our time to be able to try it, but. Ooh, what is this? Just a decent bream? Yep. All right, 2.2, .2, I love it. Like, I feel like the volume of fish is not quite as good as it is sometimes at a bream spot, but the quality is there. All right, what kind of hook is this that we need? A double hook. Um, let's just go eight o. Why not, right? Eight o. Oh man, we can put all kinds of stuff on this. We just can't fish with the second one yet. Uh, let's just do like a big old heavy octopus. Look at that. That looks yummy, right? Somebody's going to dig that. Maybe. Should have checked cafe for but it's fine all right once again nice size bream almost three kilos and we're at 42.4 that is beautiful Now, where do we want to go? Like there was a time where sort of this area above the 41, like between the 90 and 40 month, maybe that's where we want to target. I don't know, we'll see. Now, imagine how much better this is once you get the second bottom rig. Like, that's the problem. We're doing this with just one bottom rig, right? Which could end up making it very slow. But we'll see.
Okay. Where are we? Yeah, we're almost there. I guess the current's gonna kind of move us around some too. We could be making this a little more challenging than we need to. We could just go squarely into the 41, but let's try this first. Once we've stopped moving. Okay. So we want this to get to the bottom and then we want it just to sit on the bottom. Oh, no, 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 no. That is a real bummer. All right, let's see if that just stays in the bottom. I mean, we can kind of lift it every once in a while if we need to. This is more like bottom fishing, except in the ocean. All right, let's see what species this is. Atlantic wolffish. That's what that rattler is supposed to be good at, right? Okay.
We can switch this out, right? All right, let's switch that out. We did end up catching another fish, but it's very slow. We're kind of still sitting here right on the shelf. Just an Atlantic cod, take that. All right, so let's put just like a rattle. Just put a rattle on there. Wow. Didn't mean to do that. Pick it up like that. Spotted wolf fish. Now we got the Atlantic and the spotted. Right here in the same spot. All right, so let's see. Ah, we ended up with 14. Honestly, that's not terrible. I mean, it's only because in recent years, there's been these crazy spots where you get like 20 plus over a kilo in one night that this doesn't seem like a better bream spot, but we've gotten a little spoiled um, on what's possible in these bream spots, but all right, let's let that sit just for a second longer while we look at this. Oh, we got a point in bait harvesting there.
32 silver for three Breen. I think we're drifting into deeper, deeper water here. Like we're right on the edge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're sliding into that 90. Okay, so 32. Did we get to a hundred at least? Oh yeah, 135. Did we do something else? No, I don't think so. So 135. It's so hard to keep it in the bottom when you're on a shelf like this. All right, so we'll take that back up to almost 200 silver. And we got up to 42.4 bottom fishing. That bream spot ended up being okay. I hope we can find a little higher volume bream spots eventually. But uh, that wasn't terrible. And over here, I mean, we didn't make that much silver, if I'm being honest. Maybe two to 300 silver, based on cafe orders at least. Um, so, you know, it's been okay. Really what we're going for on both accounts, especially main account is points in marine fishing. Alt account, uh, I think it's the main thing we're probably wanting, if I'm being honest, is silver. Um, but also still just trying to have fun and experience different spots. So, all right, as always, thanks for watching and I will see you next time.